guys, we're here. We got the beaver that we caught earlier. We're gonna go ahead and actually get to skinning him. What I'm actually gonna do is put on these gloves over my other ones since these are the ones that I normally use out in the field anyways. I don't care if they get blood on them or anything. And these are the last pair of my uh, latex gloves, so I kind of have to be pretty sparing because I still have this and a couple raccoons and a couple muskrats to skin, so I can't just be going and getting those all cut up. So this is a nice big beaver right here. I'm going to do it on the tailgate of my truck just because hopefully then if it is a bleeder then it won't be a problem we will go ahead and you just start at the base of the tail with beavers you cut up from the vent all the way up to the mouth so we'll go ahead and just start the cut we'll get to the vent we will basically get stopped right there we will continue on the other side of the vent You don't want to cut too deep because they are not very, they don't have a lot of stuff in between their skin and their guts and stuff. So you just got to be very careful, make as clean of a cut as you can straight. Sorry about the wind, it's just a nice windy, windy week for us here, so something we just got to be observing about. We'll go ahead and cut all the way up to his mouth and actually come out from his mouth. So it goes all the way up there. Now that we got that done, you want to make sure you don't cut your caster because that's the main thing that you're actually going to be selling. You're just going to grab a handful of fur and you're just going to start slicing nice and easy not much to it. You just want to cut nice and close to the beaver. Keep your tip of your knife angled towards the body of the beaver so if you do miss a make a misplaced cut you're not gonna end up cutting the fur. Though fur is not too valuable on beaver it's still worth getting off. Good practice for if they ever do have a market that comes back to them. But you can only hope at this point. Since I probably won't be getting too many beaver this year, it's just a good refresher. So you never, never forget. I'm not sure that camera is actually seeing it in something here. And then for the legs, you want to cut it off right at that foot. So we'll just make a nice cut all the way around, giving that nice clean edge, and then we'll just go ahead and break it off. And then we got that one done with. This one as well, cut through the Achilles. Go ahead, break it, and cut around. just like that. Then the back ones, yes they're a little bigger but same principle applies. You just cut all the way around where the fur is. Cut that Achilles. Break it right in. Make a nice and clean cut around. Go ahead and grab and twist. Just like this. Perfect. And there's usually a couple tendons left. 
that you can just cut right through. Boom. And we'll cut this one too. Some people use like hatchets and stuff, but you definitely can. I just find that this works just, just well enough for me. We'll just keep going here. You just keep slicing down. I know that's kind of difficult for you guys to see, so I'll try to cut on this side for us. And then on each side of the vent, you just cut right around there. So it makes it a nice clean edge all the way around. And we'll be able to get out that caster too, which is kind of the most profitable part of the beaver. So at this point in time, once you get to the head, I didn't really tell you guys anything. Basically you work up the sides to here and then you pull from the tail this way. So I just do it on my truck bed because they are pretty bloody and I prefer not to have all that blood inside. Plus you can use the actual fur that's hanging to basically pull that hide easier on your hands. Once you get up to the head, you basically just keep cutting. Just letting that hide work itself down for you. And then we'll actually flip around over here. 
this will most likely have to be in black and white just because of how um, not so PG, I guess is the way to say it. So we're almost there. We're just finishing up that bottom jaw, actually. Which looks to be about done on that side. We'll go ahead and finish it off on the following side. Perfect. We'll flip it back over. Just like that. Go ahead and cut those ear holes out. We'll finish up here on the sides. Basically just keep rolling your knife down. Some of it's going to get trimmed off when you board it. If you do board it, that is. This one might just get tanned. If you guys would like to see this one tan, leave it in the comments below. I want to try tanning, so figure since prices are so low, this makes it a perfect time. So we'll go ahead and finish that off here. Just like that. got to be very cautious around the head. You don't want to cut through too early. Even though for what I'm going to be using it for, the head's not really going to do much of anything for us. But for the video, I'll go ahead and get it finished off here. I'm just ready to catch it for when it falls as it's about to right now. So we got the pelt right here. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead spray it down with the hose since it's still pretty mucky. I'll let it dry for a couple hours and then I'll go ahead and actually put it in the freezer because I wanna try frost scraping it later on. So we got that all done and we'll actually go ahead and do the glands now, the oil and then the caster. So those are the two, um, the oil is more so just for more so just for predator bait and also for other beavers. Caster of course you can use for other beavers at Caster Mountain sets or you can also sell it. Right now the prices are pretty high since no one's really trapping beavers right now. So I most likely will just be selling all of my casts here. I don't think I have too many more beaver spots to hit this season. So that's pretty much what we got. Here's the tail. So you can see he must get a, got in a fight with another beaver, probably another male. Took a little notch out, but that'll go into the freezer. You can either use it for like treats for dog food, you cut it up, or you can go ahead, actually cut it up, put it into like a mason jar and let that oil separate from all the fat and stuff inside the tail. And that makes really good predator and beaver um, lure. So that's another thing that you can go ahead and actually take off of beaver. And then here I'll actually take off my gloves and just use my normal ones. I just wanted to use those just in case I grab something a little too rough to slice through my gloves basically. So 
don't want that, not yet. So around the vent is where you'll find the caster and the oil glands. So just start peeling away the fats until you can finally see them. I'll try to move it so you guys can see. Here's the first one right here. And then we'll go ahead and cut through all this fat as well. And there's the other one right there. So we're just gonna cut right around them, making a nice little area for us to actually work for them. They don't look like they're the too full, but they are still worth taking out. And then we have the oil sacks right below. I will also take out. These are just for on personal bait. You can sell them, I believe, but they're not really worth too much. So I'll just go ahead and slice them out right now. Careful not to squeeze them as I'm doing it. because this will help free up the caster lands as well. Perfect, so we got our first oil gland out. Or oil sac, rather. We'll go ahead and slice through some of that. And we'll grab this other sack out. You can be somewhat aggressive, I would say. Don't just be going in there just ripping and tearing completely, but you don't have to fondle them, you know. They aren't going to break if you touch them. So we got the two right there. This one will probably up a little bit because that's kind of a lot of excess on it. Just like that. Easy enough. Take that excess, throw it to the side. So now we come to the fun stuff and probably worth the most off of the entire beaver. Which is the actual caster. So I'll just take some of that connective tissue off of each one. Just let us have a little more ease to maneuver. So you got the two basically look like testicles if we're being honest. I just basically pull them both out so you know you're not hitting them at all because you can always trim after the fact. They basically both connect right at the beginning of the vent so don't squeeze them or else you might lose some of your actual caster just like that. Since that one I accidentally sliced while I was skinning the beaver so we just gotta be very careful. got those two right there so they stay connected I usually try to keep them that way and then I'll go ahead and put them on basically a graded hanging stand I'll show you guys hopefully if I can finish up here so try to take out all the meat and stuff that you can you don't want this to spoil if you're not going to be selling them right away, you can always put them in the freezer. But I typically dry and then I put them in the freezer as well. So a couple options, you know. So we got the caster, which you can get money off of, the oil sack, which you can use for predator bait or, or predator lure or beaver lure. 
we have the beaver tail, which you can turn into beaver lure or predator bait. So making money right there. We got the hide, not worth too much, but you know, every bit counts. And then we have the head, which I'll also take off, probably off of camera because it's gonna be kind of gruesome. And yeah, all that together makes this actually a pretty profitable animal. It does take quite a long time to actually work it, but I think it's well worth it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And thanks for watching.